world's in a crazy spree. I mean, the very first time we worked together was on Walter Trout's Full Circle record, which was 2005. Like that was just one day. And, uh, yeah. and yeah, and then when John guessed it on a, another Walter record, The Blues Came Calling, that's where John really got to see what I do and, and reached out to me to do his next record, which was A Special Life. And I think our working relationship has just had a natural evolution as I've gained more trust, to, you know, from John. And, um, um, you know, I think it's, you know, when we're working together, it's just a feel thing. We just, you know, feel things out in the moment. Um, I try to be sensitive to the fact that, you know, he's in there on the mic uh, having to perform and so I have to be careful not to, I don't want to make suggestions that are distracting or take him out of his flow but I also want to you know do my job and and, and um, you know lend input when I think it can improve the, the production and the song and um, you know we've just developed a really a really great rapport of working together in that in that way. So that's why well, I think that the difference here is that, that Eric, he's the one who, it's his record label. So in all of the cases in, in the past, we've had a, a, a record producer in some cases, but that, that he was an independent person attached to a big organization. But here, it's all very, very uh, self-contained. I mean, it's, Eric, it's Eric's record label, so... You know, it makes life a lot simpler that, you know, you cut out a lot of red tape and everything and it's, it's a very simple way of working and uh, that's, that appeals to me and obviously it appeals to Eric to have the opportunity to work with, you know, people like Walter and, and me and, and many, many others. So, you know, all the mixing is done at his house, you know, it's not, it's not any big deal but it's it's uh, back, back to the roots of, of what it's supposed to be all about. Right. You have a lot of choices of studios in LA. Any particular reason you... Uh, this is the second record you've done here, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it's a nice, nice environment, but I don't know very much about the technical aspects of studios. That's more in Eric's department, you know, so... Yeah, I mean, House of Blues is is a great place to work. It's got a great console. It's got um, an old Neve, custom Neve console with classic 1073 preamps with custom EQs, and um, every compressor and mic you know any engineer would would want. You know all the Neumanns and RCA ribbons, and and uh, and then there's also a lot of keyboards. And so one of the other reasons we came here is there's a great grand piano. There's uh, B3 organ, Wurlitzer, clavinet, and um, it's really important to me that John is on, you know, the the vintage instruments, the 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 real deal. You know, he's a world class artist, and I want him to have world class sounds, and so this is a good place for that. And it's also just a really nice environment. There's a lot of history here. It used to be Tito Jackson's studio. It used to be Charlie Chaplin's house. Um, yeah, it used to be Charlie Chaplin's <coughs> house. So it's um, you know there's there's a lot of great art has been created here, and it's beautiful grounds and 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 the studio owners Gary and Shelley are just lovely people yeah. and so everything's really positive and, and it, a good it, place to work. Not the number one reason is it's not too far away from home. I was going to say that I just wasn't <laughs> sure how uh, <laughs> interesting that was. That's, that's, that's my main thing. <laughs> <laughs> Providing the studio has all the right equipment and everything. As long as it's the nearer it is to my house, had to be on. You know, had to be it. on this side of the four hundred five. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> all right, this, this process if you've done all your life. How do you keep it so fresh all the time? Um, well, the blues is the inspiration for it all, and there, there are so many different things you can do with it. You know, so. It, it, to, to make a record, you know, I always feel that, uh, that track for track they should all have a different feel to them, but they're all rooted in blues, and um, you know that's the natural thing for me. But it's the most fun to do, and uh, it allows me to write songs, or, or uh, in some cases select other people's songs, you know, that I can um, you know connect to. Um, so, you know, we have fun, that's the whole idea. 
There is a lot of variation. I think, you know, everybody's very open to creating in the moment and there's always a different set of variables even though it's the blues you know I think people are going to be really surprised when they hear the energy and some of the tracks on this record are changing up some things adding some horns here trying some different instruments and you know the creativity just keeps flowing the main thing when I'm so you know selecting songs which not many other people artists do and that is to play all the songs in, in different keys, you know, so that they all, every key has a different mood to it. And uh, so it, it, I always feel that if, um, if you put an album on that you're playing track for track, they should be like a whole bunch of singles, you know, which are completely separate and, right. from each other and, uh, and have a marked difference. Whereas a lot of uh, artists, they have a lot of things in the same key and you play one song and the next song comes up it's the same beat or something that's similar and after a while it gets pretty tiresome you know so they only they only end up with one mood for the entire album whereas you know i like to have a complete variety of, of different interpretations of blues he's singing amazing, amazing. right now no kidding yeah. really sounding good yeah. uh, we wish you all the best with this one i know it's you know you don't need luck <laughs> with, with, with this, with this team, we and, appreciate it, fellas. And what talent! What I heard, <laughs> they're good. They're good landmarks and steps, steps along the road. Definitely. Yes, All right. Thank you. Thanks, fellas. Thank you very much. God, Pleasure. For the time for the invite, for the opportunity, and uh, it's been a nice thing. It's been wonderful. Sure thing. Thing. Thank you. Great experience. All the way around. We gotta find a way.